Hey, what's up guys, Aiden here. So today we're gonna have a look at Andre Bishop. And I actually have two versions, but I'm gonna go into the better one first and then after I'll show you guys this version as well real quick at the end. If you enjoyed the content, like, comment, share, subscribe, keep the suggestions coming. And yeah, Andre Bishop's one that I wanted to do for a while. We've got Isaac Frost as well. He's up on the channel. And then uh, next one obviously to go with him is Andre Bishop. And I think my Bishop maybe is a bit better than my Isaac Frost actually. Um, but I'll, let you, I'll leave that up to you guys. So here's all the stuff that I've entered. I've probably got his hometown wrong, but um, the rest of it I looked up. So 183 centimeters, Andre Bishop, age 33, which makes him the same age as he was in the UFC free game. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it, guys. So I mean, for the hairstyle, you've got a couple of options. Either you've got hair too, which is kind of when he was when he had the shorter hair in um, Fight Night Champion. But in the end, I ended up settling for hair number nine and I kind of built him around it. If you guys want, you can get rid of the fades by putting tattoos in around the side of his hair. But um, that's the one I used, I used hair nine. For his eyebrows, actually I used tattoos. Um, we could go through it at the end, I could remove the tattoos and show you some options. Uh, perhaps brows 10 could work. And uh, yeah, probably brows, brows 10 could work or brows maybe six as well. If, if I didn't have the tattoo eyebrows, but I put tattoo eyebrows on mine. No facial hair and uh, no body hair. Unless you want to give him gorilla style hair, then uh, <laughs> give him that full body. Uh, head we'll go into afterwards. Let me show you the eyes. So for eyes, I've gone for dark brown. If you want to make him look like he's possessed Isaac Frost, then uh, yeah, light blue. But now nah. I think brown could work as well, but I went for dark brown myself. For his body, I've built him off body 11. That's literally the one I chose at the start and I've just been working from that. I haven't actually looked at other body types, so let's have a look and see maybe. You can see that his face changes shape as well as you change through the bodies. Body 18 could work as well. Except his belly's clipping through the shorts at the bottom, but yeah, just one thing to bear in mind is when you change the body type, then you're gonna get a different kind of skull shape as well. But it looks like a lot of the body types will work with him, so should be all right there. I'll leave that up to you guys. I've I've gone off body 11. That's what I worked off. Because he's got decent reach as well. So if you're using him online, for example, body 18's got less reach. So that's why I think body 11's a good fit. For his skin tone, I've gone for tone 8. And then we chuck the tattoo over him as well to make him slightly darker. As you change through the tones, it kind of changes the face complexion as well a bit. So just bear that in mind if you are going to go for tone 9. All right, cool. Um, let's do the head slider next, and then uh, we'll have a look at the tattoos, which are, <laughs> will take a while to get through the eyebrows and stuff. So I've gone off template 22, and then copy what you see on the screen to get the same results as what I have in mind. So I just got off watching the Mike Tyson fight against Roy Jones, and uh, yeah, it was interesting. It was a good one. Right at the end of it, I was, you could tell Roy was like, yeah, he's, Roy's not going to do it again. But Mike, Mike was just getting warmed up. My Mike was getting into it. And I guess, do you know what it is? Because Roy has to do so much on the outside, so much movement to keep Tyson away from him and like keep tying him up and just stay so busy. Whereas Tyson just kind of just plods forward and then slips, slips one or two and then boom, body shot. Like it's, it's much, I don't know, I could see Tyson doing this a, long, a lot longer. Like maybe another two, three years of fighting for Tyson, man, definitely. Especially like if he fights people his, his level. Not, I'm not saying he should fight Tyson Fury, or any of those guys, like, I mean, what's the point? But then again, then again, like, if, if it was an exhibition, right, and Tyson Fury wasn't going to try and take Tyson's head off, but then, like, I don't know. But I would be interested to see what Mike Tyson's going to do in the future. And, yeah, I don't really want to see Roy in there again. I mean, Roy did great, but if he's not if he's not feeling it, then he's not feeling it, do you know what I mean? And even though we all kind of want him to do it again, at the end of the day, like, if he ain't feeling it, but some of them combination, man, pop, 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 Roy was fast. All right, going on to the shape. So we've got shapes 19. So all I've done with shapes 19 is just give them a slight, see a slight, slight difference. You could do a bit darker as well if you want. I'll leave that up to you guys, but I've gone for just literally one tick to the right. And then do the same again for the arms. So basically, yeah, so, hang on, let me just, yeah, so your, your tattoo is gonna start something like this. It's probably gonna look something like this. Um, what you want to do is just go hold L1, hold right on the stick, go all the way around and just keep holding it for about 10 seconds or so and then uh, you're ready. So then hold left on the D-pad to get it all the way to the bottom level, once on the right, uh, once right on the D-pad and then boom. And then do the same thing again here, just a slight, slight increase in darkness 
And then uh, for the tattoos, Angels and Demons 12 I've used. Right there. And he actually has some font underneath that as well. If you guys want to check up the Google picture and do it, then go for it. I didn't. Next up, we're going to show you the tattoo for the, what do you want to call it? Celtic Travel 16, which I've got here. And um, yeah, just make sure it's on top of, you know, just on the left chest. You can use a different one as well if you want. In Final Champion, he had a different tattoo. In uh, UFC 3, he had a different tattoo. I'll leave that up to you guys. I've gone for Celtic Tribal number... What did I go for? Where's it gone? Well, anyway, <laughs> hopefully I've showed it. Did I show it? Yeah, that one, Celtic Tribal 16. So I went for that. Next up is eyebrows and face creases, stuff like that. So the eyebrows are absolute ball ache because I don't know why, for some reason, they just... They just take ages on this one. Some of them, like, usually doesn't take me this long to do eyebrows, but I actually had to abandon my usual font, and I've gone for Critter font number nine. And so what we're trying to do with the eyebrows is we're just trying to put them in kind of as naturally as we can. So they kind of look like eyebrows. They don't look like we're just putting on, like, paint blocks of, like, the square. So <laughs> that's why they kind of... I'm trying to make them look like they've got a little bit of gaps between them, but not too much, obviously. And what you want to do is... I mean, it's up to you guys how you... How, like low down you want to, if you want to make him look more menacing then obviously shape the eyebrows more like in the diagonal but if you actually look at the pictures of him he's actually eyebrows are quite neutral so i've just gone ahead and just made little ones um let me show you what yours will look like hang on so yours will look like something like that you can make it smaller hold l1 uh, press down on the d-pad left on the d-pad just fade it in and then just start like putting those popping those in to where the eyebrows are and then I actually, in the end, what I did is I went back and I added one more. So Critter Font 9 again, and then this is a long one. So it's a longer one. It's not too thin. Press up and down on D-pad to make it thinner or thicker, and L1 and L1 and right. And then, um, see, like, that's a bit too much. So what I'm going to do is left on the D-pad till it blends. Maybe R2 slightly. And just, just keep going at it until you can get, you know, a decent looking eyebrow on one side. And then again, the same again with the line. Basically, this line, what it does is it will just cover up those little little spaces a bit, a bit better. And then um, just keep going, just basically keep layering the eyebrows, I'll keep going over it. It doesn't have to be the same amount as mine. Like I said, guys, just, just get it to where you're happy with it. And then if not, you can use the eyebrows that are in the game as well. And maybe at the end we'll have a look at that. So those ones on this side, I've got one, two... Uh, do you know what fight I wasn't happy with though? The Jake Paul fight. That that one annoyed me because um But the guy obviously didn't want to keep going. The guy that he was fighting, the basketball player, and like the, the referee just I don't know man, he just kept putting him back in there and it's kinda like if that was an amateur boxing fight, they would have probably stopped it in the second knockdown and been like, hang on, this guy doesn't want it. But like because there was money involved and stuff, they were like they let it go on for longer than it should. And he, he got sparked out clean, man. Like, guys on the floor, like, out of it. And then there's Snoop Dogg on the commentary, like, oh, yeah, he, he'd be all right, he'd be all right. Like, come on, Snoop, man. I got knocked out clean, man. How do you know? How do you know what I mean? Like, that didn't have to happen. Obviously, Jake Paul was actually flipping, hitting hard, bro. M more than a match for that guy who was just nervous, running in there. So, yeah, man, that was a shame to see that. Clever Font 9, guys. It's going to go here. This just add a little bit of shading. And then I've done the same again on this side. Clever front nine. Just going off the picture I was looking at from um, the UFC one. One on this side as well. Just to give him a little bit of shading. Oh yeah, and then the C's. Where do the C's go? So you've got one C is under his eye here. One C is under the opposite eye here. If I could tidy that one up a bit. Where's it gone? Tidy it up a little bit. See, the difficult thing is seeing what you're actually doing. <laughs> Got to put my eyes like well close to the screen, maybe about there. Pull it back a bit. There you go, something like that. All right, and then where's the last C at? Yeah, and the last one is just down here. Just give his mouth a bit of a crease. And then what you can do actually, you can go back to head if you want to check your tattoos up close. And you can see like if you need to change the shading or anything like that. I'm pretty happy with that result. So let's have a look at doing him let me just save him i'll jump back in i'll take the eyebrows off and we can have a look at putting uh, the eyebrows from the game on him and wow it's a 10 minute video blimey 
I did not expect it to <laughs> take that long. And I haven't even gone into the second version. We'll get into the second version afterwards. And the second version is actually just my George Foreman. It was my old George Foreman. I just started off and just changed a few things. So what I'll do is, I'm not going to save this version, but I'll just quickly just delete all of these. And we can have a look at him with... Uh, He's gone through the jackass treatment, brother. He's just woken up and his mates have shaved his eyebrows off. <laughs> it's an old jackass dress. Where is this one? All right, cool. Right, so if he didn't want to do the tattoo method, then um, let's have a look what options you have. Browse six. Browse six could work, yep. Browse ten. I think I'm a bit too thin. Yeah, I think I have a browse six or browse nine. If you don't want to do the tattoo method. So let me just see. Hang on. So it would look like that. Yeah, that's all right. I ain't going to say it because I prefer the other way. Um, and then, all right, version two of Andre Bishop is a bit meaner looking. <laughs> it's a bit like, a bit more angry. So for this one, we're going for the same, same hairstyle. Eyebrows, we're using Brows Free. So this one doesn't have, it does have a little bit painted on. There's a little bit painted on, but most of it's eyebrows from the game. Uh, body, hair, nothing. For his head, we're using template 22. And then again, just follow what you see on the screen. Did, was template, did we just use template 22 on the other one as well? That would be a funny coincidence if I actually went and used the same template. Because I started, I, did, I, I on the first one, I just edited my George Foreman. Because I was like, George Foreman, yeah, he kind of looks like him. But then on the second one, I started from scratch. I was like, let me start again. And um, it would be funny if I chose the same face template. But yeah, let's just go through this. So this is a meaner looking version. I say I prefer my other version. I'll leave it up to you guys. I made two anyway, so might as well. Dark brown for the eyes. Body type, we've got body 11. Skin tone, tone 8. And then the tattoos again. Again, yeah, we've got the body thing going on. This one's a little bit darker than the other one. So it's uh, one, two ticks to the right. And then same again on this side, two ticks to the right. And we've got the, um, let me sharpen that tattoo up a bit and this one as well. Sharpen this one up. And then finally, we've got Mythos font number nine. It's just like on the inside of the eyebrow, just to give it a little bit more, so it's closer to the middle of his forehead. Same again on the other side. And yeah, so that's, that's version two of him. It looks a bit meaner. And uh, body body eleven again, same body as before. So yeah, I'll leave it up to you guys. And um, yeah, all right, cool. So that one is done. Do I need to save this? Have I changed anything? Save it. I think I changed something. I changed the tattoo color, didn't I? All right, and then coming up next on the channel, I will show. Well, I don't know. I don't know what, what order I'm going to record in, but um, Kel Brook is under progress as well. Mr. Kelbrook, so let me just show his, uh, what does he look like? Yeah, his, uh, his tattoos are all over the place at the moment, but the face is pretty spot on. It's just the facial hair. It's a bit like, <laughs> it's a bit mushy at the moment, but yeah, I'll see what I can do about that. All right then, guys, I'll catch you a lot in the next one. I'm going to do some more recordings now. Peace. I'm out of here.